There we go. What's up, guys? This is uh, Mystic Guitar here. Gonna do part two of this little gear video series I'm doing. Uh, pretty much this video is just gonna be miscellaneous stuff, straps, gauge strings I use, stuff like that. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a little room tour in this video too. Show you the stuff you don't normally see in my videos. And I don't normally talk about or anything like that. So, uh, let's gonna get started here. This is normally the stuff you don't see. That's the amp <laughs> that I use. Uh, this is like the first time I ever really showed it. It's a line six. I'll cover that more in another video. I'll go over settings and my channels and what effects I use, stuff like that. And the floorboard, I'll go over stuff later. That's going to take a long time to do, so I'll do that some other time. This here is an Ion drum rocker. I, it's not an electronic drum kit. It's I use it for rock band. Yeah, I do play rock band. Um, it's a fun game. I mean, say what you want about it, but I like it. It's a fun game. Fun game to play with friends and stuff like that online. So if you have online, I'll definitely add you. If you have PSN, I'll put my PSN information in the description. But uh, there's the TV. And, yeah, talking about football, same stuff. Down there, I got my mat because the, the kick pedal will keep disconnecting because of static electricity. So I put the mat down there to kind of get rid of that. Pretty much works. Sometimes it still goes out though. But uh, that's it. Got a poster over here. Like every freaking guitar chord you can think of. Don't know why I bought that. But that's the poster. Window. Over here I got PS3 games. You know, boring stuff. Down there it's some mix CDs I got here. Back when I used to make mix CDs. This is apparently a Creed mix CD. What is this? Dream Theater? Yeah, that's pretty much mixed CDs. They pretty much just stay there and collect dust. And uh, down here, got more s random CDs and stuff. These, I think, are just like CDs that I broke or scratched and don't really play anymore, so I threw them over here. Like, this is a uh, three doors down. I think this is all scratched up. Yeah, this one doesn't work. But uh, yeah, I also got Green Day here. Ten. Bought this album like five times now. You're a loser if somebody steals it off of me. I don't know what happened, but this is 10 years autumn effect. This one looks like it's pretty scratched up too. But uh, yeah, those are like the messed up, more mixed CDs. I got like Dreamcast games down here. I don't even know where my Dreamcast is. It's probably at my mom's house somewhere. But uh, yeah, I have them here for some reason. And these are all PS2 games. Uh, which, this is like, I got rid of most of them, but still keep some of my favorites, like Grand Theft Auto is over here. Bunch of Tony Hawk games. Twisted Metal, of course. Um, let's go over here. It's my bed. This, out of focus. Still out of focus. Alright, that's like the best it's gonna get. Alright, so here's the CE collection. Uh, it's pretty much a shit ton of CDs. That's all this is, pretty much. It's not really that interesting. Uh, they kind of just sit here and look pretty in my room. I don't really use them much, since I have put everything on my iPod. All my music's on my iPod. I use everything through that. I, I record through my iPod. I play music through my iPod. Everything goes through that. Uh, don't really buy CDs much anymore. Most Bought most of these online on Amazon for, like, pennies. So it's a great deal if you want to get cheap CDs. Uh, just bought this today. This is Call Me No One's Last Parade. Probably the best album that came out this year. Best rock album. Um, this is uh, the side project from Clint Lowry and Morgan Rose from Seven Dust. They did this while Seven Dust was on a little break. Great album. Anything Clint Lowry touches is great. So I Empire, Dark New Day, this band, Call Me No One. Even his solo stuff, his acoustic stuff is really good. It's called Hello Demons Meet Skeletons. Really good stuff. And of course, Seven Dust, which is my favorite band of all time. It's a great CD. I actually bought the CD twice. I bought this when it just came out uh, digitally to get the bonus tracks, and then I just bought this today just to have the actual CD. Because so I, you know, I just like to have the actual CD in my hands, not just a file on my computer. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much the CD case. 
um, over here, that is my microphone. My new microphone I just bought. Um, this is a Blue Yeti microphone. Spent like a hundred dollars on this thing. I didn't don't use it much yet. I'm gonna use it later on. Um, I used it for some of the ten years covers, and uh, it I don't. It's not the mic. It's my laptop because the sound card on my laptop is not good enough. So it causes static and stuff to come through here. So I gotta update my sound card. I'm not sure how to do that. So I gotta get a friend of mine to do that for me. And uh, but as soon as I get that fixed, I'm definitely gonna start using this mic because this mic is a very good mic. I've tested it out on other laptops with a good sound card and it sounds really nice. So I'm gonna use that eventually. Um, pretty much a bunch of stuff, random junk I keep on my drawer, hats and stuff, and over here. Alright, this is gonna be hard. I gotta like hold it like this. Alright, I got this is um string winder. Let me change strings. These right here are actually the old pickups. If you watch my other video, I said I took out the pickups from my Ivan. These are actually the old pickups. Whoa. And it's coming apart. Yeah. So these are the ones that sound like crap. Uh, I don't even know what these are called. These are probably just like Ibanez pickups. Terrible. I don't know why I still have them. I might as well just throw them away. Alright, now strings. Also just bought these today. These are Ernie Ball skinny top heavy bottom strings. Uh, tens. 10 to 52. Um, I put these on when I want to tune down to like B, drop B and stuff like that. But all the, every other time I use there he is, uh, string clipper. I use Diodario tens. These are pretty much all my guitars. It's a regular set of tens. I put these on my all my guitars. I used to use nines, not anymore, because I used to always break the E string. So I moved up to tens, and they work fine. Very versatile set of strings. Um, I have this on both Hellraisers, both Ibanezes. I think I might have it on all my guitars right now, but uh, I experiment with different string gauges, so. Like I said, I put the Ernie Balls on when I feel like turning tuning down. So I usually put these on a Hellraiser. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what strings I use. Um, over here. Yo, here I got my old amp I used to use. Um, this is a Marshall MG15DXF. D what? DFX. I used this amp for like five years when I started learning playing. It's a very good little combo amp. And uh, I got a bag over here. Ah, can't really get it out. Alright, that's not gonna happen, but I got a bag over there full of pedals and stuff that I used to use. I'll probably take that out and show that when I show the amp in another video. And here, this is where I keep the guitars and the cases pretty much stacked for... I don't keep them on the wall. I used to keep them up on the wall here. See all that space? But it started messing with the wood because this room is not ventilated good. It doesn't have central air. So it's very humid in the summertime and very cold in the wintertime. So uh, it really mess up the wood and do crazy things. I'd have to get the guitar set up every couple months, and that was not good. So I just keep them in the cases, keep them more protected and stuff like that. Um, check those obviously on top. This uh, and I keep the don't have a case for the seven string, um, so I keep it in the box that it came in. For now, I'll eventually get a case for that. Um, over here just. Books, pretty much uh, Stephen King, Dean Koontz, even got like Harry Potter down there. Dan Brown, you know, I read a little bit, I don't read that much. I think I was reading the Tommy Knockers, never finished it, but I got all the Dark Tower books here, Angels and Demons, you know, stuff like that. Uh, over there is guitar, your guitar, stuff like that. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, like I said, I'll be going over um, my amp and stuff another time and how I record. 
and uh yeah that's pretty much it